America, tried and tested for over 244 years. Under its spacious skies, the world's greatest pioneers had the courage to establish the most unique of ideas in history, a nation founded on the principle of government by consent of the governed. This idea would be the wellspring from which the dignity, freedom, and equality of every human soul who stepped on her soil would flow. Over the course of its history would emerge an intangible yet important sense of our own journey as free men and women. How far we have come. What more lies ahead as we anchored ourselves to the principles of our founding. As moment after moment has unfolded, we transcended the essence of our nature so as to keep our progress and cast away our pain, tear down our injustices and sow our compassion, express our love and quell our hate, leverage war for the enjoyment of peace. Our future, like our past, will continue to define the strength of our nation with the light of opportunity and the warm embrace of freedom for generations to come. We call this uniquely American journey, the American dream. Now mindful that the American dream is a journey of many experiences. When you were growing up and you heard that phrase, the American dream, take a moment and remember how it made you feel. Did it sound like something that was part of you? Did it feel like your birthright? Did you even know it was already there for you? Now in truth, the American dream is really a dream within a dream. In the best of times, we celebrate the American idea in powerful words like life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. I grew up confident that my inalienable rights were endowed by my creator. My mama taught me that. And that freedom was not passed down in the bloodstream as President Reagan reminded us, but rather fought for, protected, and handed on. Now my mama taught me that too, as she seared that fight for freedom into my heart and steadied my journey toward my dreams with those first principles. But during the worst of times, the barriers we raise and the constraints we impose delay that journey toward the American dream and make more elusive for far too many of our citizens the opportunity to achieve it. Indeed, America must come to terms with a truth that at times the American dream for some comes at the expense of others. Abraham Lincoln proclaimed America will never be destroyed from the outside. If we falter and lose our freedoms, it will be because we destroyed ourselves. Forming a more perfect union is hard work, folks. And yet we appear at times to give up on that work. We find it easier to give in to partisan and baser temptations that make our pursuit of happiness a fruitless enterprise, rather than holding out to each other and the world the words of our founding, embodied in our Constitution, that our life and our liberties are valued equally. Historian Alexis de Tocqueville once noted, there is nothing more dangerous than unmet expectation. And it was the unmet expectations of countless Americans that fueled the fear and anger that defined the 2016 presidential race. We were angry at Wall Street, angry about trade deals, angry about the environment, angry at immigrants, angry about police shootings, angry at the Democrats' overreach, angry at the Republicans' obstructionism, and just plain angry at those who were angry. Frederick Douglass put it frankly, find out just what any people will quietly submit to, and you have the exact measure of the injustice and wrong which will be imposed on them. For years, we quietly submitted to our anger, the bad policies, the wars, the gun violence, the broken promises and outright lies and allowed our rage and mistrust to fuel our pain and resentments, imposing on us burdens we were no longer willing to carry and blinding us to an immutable truth about our very selves that despite our difficulties, we have always remained resilient and optimistic. This truth about us has been foundational to America's greatness. What is also foundational is America's ideals expressed in the Declaration of Independence and revealed in the form of government established by the Constitution to help us achieve those ideals in order to form that more perfect union. 
Moreover, our nation possesses a sovereign character that enables us to dismantle and conquer our flaws and shortcomings. Frederick Douglass's extraordinary ability to say to his former owner, I love you, but I hate slavery, is an example of how we individually rise above the pain and the anger to fulfill the ideals of America. Now, if we're going to thrive and survive in this third century of this great American experiment, we must never forget that our freedom is empowered by the Declaration of Independence. Our rights are validated by the Constitution and our equality is affirmed by the Bill of Rights. Each espouses the guiding principles by which we defeat our weaknesses and strengthen our resolve. But we must also remember, even the shortest journey takes time and bears a cost. President George Washington understood that so well when he said, all through human experience, we find that the highest and most complete freedom comes slowly and is purchased only at a tremendous cost. Our dream within the dream has taught us notwithstanding those ideals and the heroism and sacrifice of prior generations. After all, we've abolished slavery, expanded suffrage, emerged from a great depression, defeated the hegemonic ambitions of Russia. But this journey toward freedom comes slowly and that along the way, we still remain vulnerable to appeals to more reprehensible elements of our nature and our politics, which leaves us and our Republic scarred. So too have our political leaders preyed upon our fears and weaknesses, exposing for their advantage, wounds that are not allowed to heal while they promote a narcissism that belies the very nature of who we are. Now, if we the people find ourselves forgetting, questioning, or separating ourselves from the ideals of Washington and Lincoln, the pragmatism of Truman, the resolve of Roosevelt, or the optimism of Reagan, or if we find ourselves caught up in the celebration of self at the expense of our neighbors and our community, then please remember the words of Dr. King, who preached that our nation's ideals call us to serve each other with unharmed truth and unconditional love. My friends, we the people must overcome our current crisis of spirit and faith. This time, we the people must persevere through unspeakable difficulties. This time, we the people must hold on to the example of our ancestors if we truly hope to remain dedicated to our founding ideal, e pluribus unum, out of many one, then in this time, we the people must rededicate ourselves to each other. Our dream depends on it. To further understand the American dream, look again to President Lincoln, who reminded us that a nation conceived in liberty could unleash its citizenry and empower them to achieve moral and material progress so dramatic and so exemplary that it would enrich not only the lives of its people, but the world. Or President Reagan, who in his farewell address to the nation noted that after 200 years, the city on the hill still stands strong and true on the granite ridge, and her glow has held steady no matter the storm. Undeniably, there are storms ahead, some dangerous, all challenging, that will strike at the heart of what we believe and who we claim to be. But we are strong and America is stronger because her foundations have been forged out of the sacrifices of her people from Gettysburg to Fallujah, from Tulsa to Ferguson. America is stronger because the rights of her citizens have been affirmed on our neighborhood streets, across lunch counters, in houses of worship, in places of work, in our courts and legislative chambers. And America is stronger because her dogma has been secured at the ballot box by the consent of her people. Our dream within a dream reveals a nation where the people enjoy the nobility found in those absolute rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Our dream within a dream fueled by liberty and lit by the quality of her people is our American dream. We are the people called by our constitution to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity. 
that, my friends, is not a charge given to some governmental agency or a declaration of political ideology or even a line taken from some reality TV episode. It is our single responsibility as citizens and free people. Our journey, our American journey through trials and difficulties from birthright to destiny is a journey about a dream. It is about many dreams that together are the American dream. Thank you.